Hey guys, Cory here, and I've got a new scrapbook process video for you. This one is called 42 Today because today is my 42nd birthday. So I have decided that I am going to do a page about that. So just kind of basing it off of the page I did about my daughter when she turned 14, I just lit, I actually printed on to cardstock this list of all of these things about me currently, you know, likes, dislikes, my crew, just, you know, things to describe me today. And um, I'm going to start with that. So, okay, so just fast forward, you're going to actually get to see this twice because I mess it up. But what I've got here is just a set of watercolor paints. These are actually Target paints. They're just from Target, like the kids section or whatever, but I really like the colors. Um, they're just kind of soft and very pretty. So, um, here's my idea. So like I'm just putting the color with some water onto palette paper and then I'm going to just lay the cardstock right into the paints and it's going to pick up on the cardstock. Now, you know, I can't tell from this how light or dark they're going to be. So I just test a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit more color. Um, and so then I'm going to go. It actually, I really like the way it turns out. It's really cool. Um, it looks kind of light, but when it dries, it's actually really pretty. So then I'm just going to go back through and put some drips on there, some extra color and things like that. And I just go through this whole process and then let it dry overnight. So um, I did swatch all these paints, which is the little dots right above the paint set. And I think I showed it right at the beginning when the video started. You can see the colors. They just came out so pretty. I was like so surprised because it was probably like a $5 set of paints from Target. So. Um, I do really like those. Anyhow, like I said, um, I started this page just by listing out a lot of just current stuff. I figured that it would be good to remember what I was like at 42. Um, I've struggled a little bit with this birthday because, in all fairness, it seems really old to me, but hopefully it's not. All right, there you can see the swatch. And this is the next day I'm going back and I just wanted to add a little bit deeper color. And honestly, I messed it up because I wasn't using watercolor paper. I'm using cardstock. So then it had um, where I added the water or the extra paint, it had these like weird splotchy things and I hated it. I felt like I wrecked it. So um, at this point, I'm still adding more color to it, but then I'm looking at it going, okay, that looks really terrible. And you can't see it so much from this angle, but I could really see it. So in the trash it goes, and we are starting over. I wish I would have just left it alone because I did like the way the first one turned out a little bit better than the second, but um, it's okay. It ends up working just fine. So um, I printed another list. Thankfully, I'd saved it, put it on there, and boom did it again. So now instead of adding paint directly with lots of lots of water, um, I'm just gonna um, drip things on there this time. And at least that way I don't mess up the back by putting on those ugly spots that happen when cardstock gets a little bit too wet. For this page, I am using the Felicity Jane March Kit, mostly. I did pull in some thickers from the March Hip Kits because I love the font so much, so I figured I needed to pull those in. And um, the letter stickers that came with the Felicity Jane Kits and the March ones, they were gold, and I didn't um, I didn't want to use too much gold. So anyhow, that's, that's what I'm using for this. And um, y'all don't get to been out of shape, but I did not cut the center out of this paper and only a teeny little sliver is going to actually be showing this pink but I knew I probably wasn't going to use it anyhow and I did keep my scraps but um, nobody flip out I did not it, most of this paper is just going to be wasted underneath other stuff see it's going to look like that but that's okay so this is um, I did kind of like it because I'm trying to make this page a 9 by 12 but I um, to run it through my printer, it had to be an eight and a half by 11. So that's why I'm adding these extras. And this is a great way for me to use some pattern paper because I don't use a ton of it. But um, this way too, I was able to make this the right size and it wasn't too confusing. And then I knew exactly where the white cardstock was gonna go on top of it. So um, it's just an easy way for me to make sure the size is right. I did find a place that apparently sheet music is a nine by 12. And so I did find a great place to get page protectors. And I even got a um, binder that is a nine by 12, which is really cool. And that way I'm able to actually house all these things. So 
while most of my pages are not in page protectors, my 9 by 12 is because I have got um, page protectors that are that size. So I got this stamp from Michaels. Um, it's just large numbers, and so I'm just going to stamp lightly in the background the number 42. I couldn't find my two. I had lost it, and I was like, oh gosh, this is going to be terrible. If I don't have the two, what am I going to do? But luckily I found it. So that's going right there, and then um, I'm just going to start embellishing this part of the page. Um, I did take these pictures of myself yesterday. I it was pretty funny because I had I wasn't I was trying not to use my iPhone, and so um, and nobody was home while I was doing this, which is good because had somebody been home and have been like, hey, would you take this picture of me? I probably would have been kind of embarrassed. So um, I actually dressed up a little bit. This is kind of dressy for me. I was trying to look cute and I um, set up my DSLR on a stool <laughs> and opened up the doors to my bedroom to my porch and tried to take a picture of myself. My dog said I was absolutely crazy. But my husband, when he got home not long afterwards, he was like, oh, you look so pretty today. So, um, and then we went out for pizza and it was really fun. And he was like, you just look so nice, which made me sit there go, hmm, do I look that bad typically? Which I don't know if I do but I think it was just out of character because I don't have anything I really have to dress up for during the day so oftentimes I'm in just t-shirt and jeans and I actually did my hair and tried to do something with myself so maybe he was surprised <laughs> so this is a cool little tag that was just in the ephemera pack from Felicity Jane and it it's the month date and year which I thought was perfect for this page and um, I did pull out a doily from my stash and I'm adding other just pieces here and there from the Felicity Jane um, kit. The, I did pull out an older piece of Felicity Jane paper that I had in just my stash or whatever. This is the one thing that I splurge on, well second thing actually. So. Um, I do get the kits from HipKit, but I have design team projects that I'm supposed to do with those, and I do go ahead and splurge and buy all the kits every month um, because I just, it's, that's the way I replenish my stash. And then I do go ahead and get these Felicity Jane ones too um, because I like how unique they are, and I think it's really cool how you can work with them from month to month. Um, like you can take the supplies from last month and they sort of kind of match like I really like that because it just kind of increases what you've got I just think that's really cool so um, I do like getting these anyhow so I just added some thread behind there I'm trying to just add little bits and pieces but I gotta watch it because I don't want my journaling to not be able to I want to be able to see it so I did only I actually stitched it down the one side so you can kind of fold it back up like a page of a book and then um, everything else is just going to make sure that nothing actually sticks to the journaling so I can always get to that and see what I wrote about myself. And then I like these little wood veneer things that came with the kit. Those were really cute and then um, hearts are my favorite shape so I'm going to go ahead and add those here and there. It's funny though because I don't necessarily think that putting hearts on my own page was really what I wanted to do but at the same time like oh well. I did get some gunk on my picture, which when I took photos of my layout, I was able to get out, but I do have like now this like black swaggy stuff that's on my hair in the picture now and it's glue that got, oh, it's such a pain in the neck. So they had, the kid had these vellum, not vellum, I'm sorry, like washi stickers and they're really cool, but I had trouble getting the backing off of one of them. Um, so I ended up not using it just because I wanted to go ahead and get this page together. So now see I'm going to go ahead and cover it up but the whole page has got some you know I like how the pink just pops out just here and there. Do add a little bit of more pop out right on the side with some staples and then I am going to do some cool stitching on it to give it some texture and once that was all done um, I just really liked how it turned out. I really love pink. Yeah, I think it's like maybe one of my favorite. No, pink and blue. Pink and blue are definitely my two faves. So it's funny because when I was in high school, least favorite color was pink, but now I love it. So anyhow, guys, that's my page. I hope you liked it. 
if you have any questions, make sure you just leave them for me in the comment section. I will be happy to get back with you about those. Um, otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And as always, you can find more of my creative projects on Instagram at Corey J Creative. Bye. Thanks for stopping by.